everybody, Elisa here with another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Today, um, I thought I'd do a haul video because I know people tend to like haul videos. <laughs> and I got sort of a critter haul. So I thought I would share the items. Hopefully, I'll try to be pretty quick about it. Um, so people probably know that uh, Foxwood's been on sale and it's half off everywhere and so I managed to find some foxes first thing. <laughs> Very pleased with my foxes. This is the large on the go. Um, it's a bag I really like and I, I'm not sure they're making it anymore. It doesn't seem to have come out in the last few um, patterns so I'm a little bummed about that. Um, what are you doing? Um, <laughs> but this, uh, you know, it's so frustrating. Like I've said, you can get a bag and it can have no critters because the way the fabric's cut and the, the animals are too far apart in the pattern and it's very frustrating. And it becomes even more frustrating when you see that, that you can find a bag like this, which has three foxes on it. And you can go for you know from store to store, and and there's neither hair nor chipmunk <laughs> to be seen. Um, this is the front of the bag. I do have a fox there? It lights a little bit better on that side. Uh, and then there's one in the back. Where is it? There he is. Where's she? <laughs> And uh, one on the side there. But also, there's, that's, that's three, but then there's a little hidden one. So it's almost like four. A little hidden one under, under the strap there. Uh, and I think there might be a chip. Yeah, there's a chipmunk there. No, no rabbits. I do like the rabbits, but you know, can't have everything. So, you know, half off, plus, always have to check the puppies, uh, plus, you know, it's got that great uh, Foxwood menagerie lining that everybody knows and, and most people love. I just put some sweatshirts in there to give it some body while I was holding it up, it's a little bit easier. But, you know, there's that, I've shown this lining in, in a bunch of my videos, and it's just, you know, hard to beat. Uh, this this lining Foxwood Menagerie. So that's my first thing. And then you know I I have a couple of videos now on the 100, and people are always asking me how do my how do I get my 100s to keep such nice shape? And I've explained it in a couple of videos, and it's a laborious process. And I completely get, like I said before, that people don't want to do that because they're spending money, and the bag should come to them in the shape that it should be. And I, I agree with that. And so it's been a while since I've I've gotten a 100 because it's so labor intensive to do that. That you know, you're, I've really got to love the pattern. <laughs> And I had looked at this, uh, the, the Foxwood 100 in, in another store, no foxes. And so since I'm not so crazy about the overall pattern, it's really the critters that are driving me with this pattern. If it didn't have the fox, I was not interested. And it was not a big, you know, I didn't feel like it was some big loss. <laughs> but, you know, it's hard to walk away from three on one bag. So that's, the, again, there's the frustration, right? bump somewhere. They're <laughs> probably going to start barking um, any minute now. Um, right, so you can go one store, no foxes on the bags, and then, you know, you hit on a bag with three. So it's a little, you know, unfair and unbalanced, but um, what are you going to do? This is the back, technically, um, but I, I don't care. I don't pay attention to that, especially with this bag because of the, uh, the hidden zipper pockets up top make the bag feel very parallel and construction in a way and design. Um, but there's one. So he's, he's got almost decapitated, but good enough. <laughs> and then, uh, where was the other one? There was another one. Oh yeah, right there. On the top. So um, the front, technically, this is the front, and I think that's those are the only critters. I don't think I got any anything else. No chipmunks, no rabbits. Uh, 
And so technically this is the front. I, I do like that little that trim. The trim is, is so nice on this and on this pattern. Try to try to get it in there. And this is that narrower strip of trim as opposed to the wider band that you see on the Vera totes. Um, and what I what I do feel lucky about too is that I've with you know uh, with the exception of this, I feel like I've sort of avoided those real big loud flowers that I, I I'm kind of sensitive to. I'm not crazy about because I think the smaller flowers are, uh, throughout this pattern are actually more interesting. All the the rest of the the sort of wild foliage is kind of interesting, and I don't need these big hot flowers. There's a couple of them in the pattern. But I really managed to avoid them, so I'm pleased with that. So that was that. And right now I just have a couple of, uh, I got some sweat, a sweatshirt and a t-shirt and leggings in here or something, just to give it shape for the video. But I do, I, I won't, you know, bother. I have another video I can put a link to where I show how I pack it up. But I store it stuff with stuff and, uh, you know, train it, to try to train it. To keep its shape but I have a feeling that this one was stuffed in the store out for display when when I picked it up it was flat but I think it had been on display in the store kind of in shape because it's keeping its shape better than most of them when 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 they've come to me they've all been flat uh, this feels like it's not as uh, stuck in that flat uh, shape anymore that's that. Then, you know, have coupons and stuff. Guys, how about you don't chew each other's faces off? <sighs> From a <my> video. <laughs> uh, this will become a, a nature video. <laughs> Animals in the wild. Um, <laughs> so this was the, uh, this is a, a new pattern. It's a ditzy. And this is the RFID wristlet. Um, I haven't I think this is my first one of the this style, but I've looked at it for a while because I tend to like to use items like this as a, a clutch. Like, if I don't want to take a big bag, I can fit my phone in here, and it functions as a wallet. So that's great. And my phone, I didn't have my phone around. What did I do with it? Oh, there it is. So this is the iPhone 11. Yeah, and there's quite a bit of quite a bit of room in there still. And it's, it's hard to see because this is a black interior um, where the pockets are but there's like a a bill fold here a slot for bills I mean and then on top of that on the other side of that you've got an, you got two well like that two ID windows so I'm going to probably use one for a photo probably of Duke like I do with my turn lock wallets and then behind that um, are two uh, card slip pockets, you know, slots. And then on the other wall, again, another area, oh, sorry, area where you can put bills. And then six, wait a minute, let's count it. Well, eight, eight slots in there for, for cards. So that's a nice amount. And you get the pattern, the interior pattern a little bit in this. I think that's itsy ditsy. My guess is going to be that that's itsy ditsy creatures because in the custom um, bag options, uh, there's a version of that, and it's itsy ditsy creatures navy. I'll be quiet back there now. <laughs> anyway, so I mean, you just can't you can't beat this pattern. You know, it's got bees, it's got butterflies, various, all, all various colorations and, and uh, versions of, of bees and butterflies and ladybugs. There's a blue ladybug up there. Um, I like that. I've said before, I like that when they use off colors, not the typical colors for what things are. And the dragonflies, too, are in here. You can see that full dragonfly over there. I don't know if I got any bees in this one. Yeah, I'm sure I did. It's just a matter of finding them. They really blend in. There's another blue blue butterfly up there. A blue ladybug next to the butterfly there. Love this. Love this. This 
flower work there. Another dragonfly up in the corner. I can find a bee. It's hard. It's hard to find the bees. I think it might be one sort of under the label, unfortunately. I don't feel like I got um, any bees in here. Of course, as soon as I finish the video, one will jump right out at me. But I guess it's possible I didn't get one on this. Um, anyway, so that was that. And then they had masks, and they had... Here we can see what this is called. They had them in the lining pattern. Right, itsy ditsy creatures. So, um, you know, really just enjoying this, this uh, the lining on this pattern as well. Have to wash these, of course. I, I wash them before I wear them just to soften them up, and also they're way too big for me. I mean, even after. I'm going to try shrinking them even more because I, I don't think I've been shrinking them enough and they're still kind of big on me and it's strange because I kind of always think of myself as having kind of a large head. <laughs> um, this makes me feel like I have this tiny head. Um, and, and they have this which is the lining pattern from Bon Bon Medallion. I think this is Bon Bon Ditsy. Yeah, Bon Bon Ditsy. I seem to be very into that word right now, Ditsy. <laughs> <Did see that. laughs> which I think is just for any kind of, sort of refers to a small floral print that'd be my guess or a small kind of novelty print but I I think it has it's one that usually has flowers in it I think I'm not sure about that so that's nice I like that gray I'm finding with the masks even though I've ordered a couple that have sort of a larger pattern like um, dragon fruit floral or Charmant meadow from the factory outlet um, and a couple of others I'm not crazy about the way the larger patterns look on the face oh, I have one uh, one that I ordered in Garden Grove not crazy about it um, on the on the face I'm, I'm liking the ones with the smaller patterns I think they're better for the, for face masks for me, anyway, I just feel too self-conscious with the bigger patterns slapped on my face. Uh, and then, oh, found. I had, you know, this was never a pattern I wanted a bag in, um, uh, because of the cream color background and the coral color piping, and it's a little too grid-like the pattern structure. Um, but I do, I do think it's pretty, uh, um, but just not for me. This is um, Sea Life. But I do have it in an ID, a zip ID, because it had an octopus on it. Seems for me, the octopus, the pa this pattern was all about the octopus. Like with um, the shore thing, the pattern was all about the seahorses for me, especially because they were that beautiful coral color. But with this pattern, it's all about the octopus. Again, it's that beautiful coral color. That might have something to do with it. Uh, I do love coral jewelry as well. And it's very tropical, has a very tropical feel. Um, so I, I, I wanted this in a Carson. That's another item that I really like and it's small. I just have a taste of the pattern, but I never wanted to order it because I knew. I, I just, with certain things, I don't have good luck with pattern placement, like like the masks. I've been ordering masks and like not getting, you know, I ordered one sure thing and I didn't get a seahorse. I did get a, an orange starfish, so that was good and sort of part of the turtle, but <laughs> no seahorse. So, um, you know, I, I didn't want to take the chance with this. Um, but I did find this and I, I couldn't believe my luck when I pulled it out of the pile. But that right there on the flap and then you get the nice crabs, you get the initials there too. I don't care about the initials really, I, I don't need to be a walking billboard. Um, so I'm not as concerned about the seahorses in this pattern, maybe it's because they're blue. But, you know, still very cute. And I like all the other little details, the small starfish and the sand dollar and all that stuff. And then I turned it over. I couldn't believe that. You know, it took me a while to find one of these with just one. And then I turned it over and it has two. So, again, like, what are the odds? With all these things, like, what are the odds of getting a, a bag with, you know, three or more foxes on it? 
So <laughs> it's just frustrating when you think about all the times you're looking at stuff and that you can't find any animals. It just you can you want to tear your hair out. So that's that, and the uh, the lining is the lining isn't any different, you know, in this pattern. Um, unusually, it's very very cute. And I am a beach person. I'm a water person, as is my husband. So, just feels right to get this. <laughs> this is very pretty, right there. Sea urchin. I think it's a sea urchin. Not sure about that. Yeah, I have a, a little turtles on this. Very cute too. And then uh, just a couple of readers cases, smaller, smaller eyeglass cases. Um, couldn't resist the, the portion of the big blue rose. And this is Garden Grove. But then I saw this. This is like. This is like, I mean, it's literally like a unicorn. I mean, it's, it's like, like the white rhino, you know, um, it's hummingbird park, uh, reader's case. I do have, I have shown in another video, I have a sunglasses case with this and it has a hummingbird smack in the front, you know, and I said back then, I think it's going to be hard to find anything with a hummingbird on it. Of course now, you know, no one seems to know exactly what's going on with this pattern. I've heard different stories. I've heard it's gone, it's not coming back, it's canceled. I've also heard people saying no, the sales associate told me it's just postponed until next year. So I, you know, I don't know. Um, but no bird on this. And I, so I do think it's going to be hard, especially on smaller items, to get a bird, a hummingbird this pattern. But I like those flowers. It's still super pretty even without uh, without the birds. The background is a very pale pale lavender or, or almost like a dove gray. And then you can see there are these like slightly darker lavender shadow details, foliage shapes. So I was, you know, uh, pleased with that. Love this darker, uh, sort of uh, grayish purple there. Very nice colors in this, and I, I do hope it comes out. It'd be a real shame to lose it completely. Uh, I don't know. I mean, someone was wondering um, in the focus group, a woman who has some very good uh, sources. I, she knows some buyers, I guess. And uh, was saying it's she. They're telling her it's not. It's just canceled. So she was wondering if it's going to show up at the annual sale, maybe. Um, but I'm still hoping because a couple of people have said that there's that sales associates have told them it's been postponed till next year now, pushed back till next year. So I'm hoping. Um, I like the purples and the and also the touches of yellow and orange in there. I just I think it would be a real shame to lose this pattern and to not have most people have access to it. It'd be a real shame. It's it's a real I think it's a real beauty. So anyway, that was it. Just a quick one today. My my critter haul. Um, <laughs> everything with a critter that should have a critter except this, but I still like it. <laughs> um, anyway, and it makes going blind worthwhile. So anyway, hopefully uh, see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.